I wish morning would never come. I wish I could just lay in bed here with you forever. Well, <laughs> I can since I'm a goddess. I just have to snap my fingers and you'd freeze up like the most perfect statue. <laughs> but something tells me you'd want you'd find that at best mildly annoying. And I don't want to annoy you. There's a lot of things I want to do that I don't. I want to carve every mountain into a statue of you. I want to turn every painting into a portrait of you. I want to turn every song into an ode to you. But I know you don't share all of my tastes, and I respect that. I know, I know, you think I'm overdoing things. I never knew how to mind mortals before. I never even thought to consider their thoughts and feelings. You are the first mortal whose opinion I ever cared about. And I hope you don't hate me for saying this. But I am certain there will never be a second. I love you. You're so lovable. You're precious, you're charming, and funny. Funny like me, I might add. And I can back that claim up with a joke. Why are Yandere so rich? Because they know how to make a killing. <laughs> Okay, here's another one. Why do Yandres love their shadows so much? Because it never leaves them. Uh oh. Looking at it now, that joke was kind of sad, actually. But I think I can cheer you up with a fun fact. Did you know? That there are 200 billion trillion stars in the universe, and you are more beautiful than all of them? It's true. I would know. I'm a goddess. I checked each and every one, one by one, and I can confirm none of them quite compare to you. Of course, they're just giant balls of gas, so... They don't look quite as pretty up close. But still, my point stands. My point being that you are infinitely precious. I'm so lucky to have something as precious as you. And that's saying something since I basically own everything. Being the supreme goddess of the universe and all. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you forever. Forever and ever, I'm going to keep you for longer than your sweet little mortal mind can comprehend. Even when the sun envelops the earth in five billion years, I'll still protect you and keep you. Even when the heat death of the universe occurs, I'll just take you to a different universe. I'll keep you going. I'll keep you young, healthy, alive. And even if by some mistake you died, I'd just seize your soul and bring you back to life again. It's easy for me. I'm a goddess after all. Basically everything is easy for me, except for a few things, of course, like taking my eyes off of you, or thinking about other things other than you, or resisting my urge to fawn over you. Resisting my urge to protect you is another thing I can't do. I won't let anyone hurt you. If someone tried to hurt you, I wouldn't even end their life. Oh no. I'd make sure that they never even existed. I'd rewrite history without them. Make sure their parents never met, or something like that. There are... A lot of things I could do. All to protect you, of course. It's all to just keep you safe, my darling. 
And that's the reason for so many of the things I do. I'm conscious as of every at atom. So that none of them can move in a way that would harm you. Even if the entire world tried to hurt you, I'd stop them. Then I'd make a new world, I think. One lovelier. Better. One that respects you more. Because you deserve respect. You deserve love and adoration. Even I, as a goddess, do not feel I can possibly do enough to properly lavish you with my affection. It, it makes me confused sometimes. Is that okay? For a goddess to be confused? It's just that someone I love as much as you should be... How should I say it? Like, you're a big deal. All the mortals on this planet should be bowing at your feet, kissing the ground you walk on, naming their cities after you and stuff like that. You know, they should show you some respect. But I guess that's more like worship. It pains me for others not to treat you as well as you think you should be treated. But at the same time, I want you all to myself. To be the only one that spoils you with such devotion. It makes me feel special. It sounds silly, I know. <laughs> Why would I need to feel special? I'm already a goddess. What's more special than that? But still. I like you. I like being the special someone who really appreciates you. Who really understands how lovely and precious and valuable you are. And I guess... I guess I'd get jealous that others are giving you attention is all. Which is why I'm kind of wishy-washy about the whole having the world worship you thing. But that's okay. Right now... You're here, and I'm here, and it's just the two of us, and that makes for the perfect moment. My lovely little sweetheart. Hmm. That reminds me, I should probably think of some new pet names to call you. I mean, you are my sweetheart, and you are my darling, but you could ask me some other things, like, my love. But I think I could think of something a little bit more interesting than that. For instance, you could be my honeypot. Wait, no. That makes you sound like some sort of spy. I could call you my sugar, but that's not really fair since unlike sugar, you're good for me. I guess I could call you my cupcake, but cupcakes also have sugar. Well, maybe you're one of those healthy cupcakes. <laughs> oh well, the process of thinking of pet names is cute and fun in itself, so I'll just keep on thinking and keep you posted, my beloved. I'll just keep on thinking, staring at you. What? Can you blame me? You're very easy to stare at. I like watching you no matter what, from what direction. Whether I'm making eye contact, or I'm staring at the back of your head, or even if I'm just watching over you while you sleep. All the different little positions have their own unique appeal. Hey, <laughs> come on, don't be creeped out. I mean, I know you're just pulling my leg here, but still. I'll make it up to you. Do you want to see some new colors? Humans only have three types of cone cells in their eyes. Meaning they can see a million, about a million different colors. What if I gave you 16 types of cones? Like a mantis shrimp. You'd be able to see, well... Well, you'd be able to see a lot of different colors. It'd blow your mind. For instance, I know I'm attractive, but I look even better the more colors you can see. And you should see yourself too. You have no idea just how truly beautiful you are. What with your mere three cones? Not that I look down on you for only having three cones. <laughs> I love you after all, sweetheart. I'll always love you. 
even in a thousand years. A million, a billion, a trillion, I'll still love you just as much as I do right now. At this very moment, and right now, I really do love you. I'm trying to figure out how to put it into words, though. If my love for you was a pit, it would swallow the world. I want to create an endless amount of languages just so I could have more words to express how much I love you. I want to engrave your name on every atom of the universe. Not deep enough to split them, obviously. That would... Well, it would be irresponsible. Lucky for you, I'm so cautious then. And lucky for the other living things in the universe too, I guess. But right now, I'm just focused on you. Because I love you, darling. I'd do anything for you. If you said you think the sky would be prettier if it was purple, then I'd change it. If you wanted a second moon in the sky, I'd do it. Even a third, or a fourth, or a fifth. And of course, you can leave all the complicated details, like not screwing up tides and gravity and orbits, to me. I'll take care of it. I always take care of it. Don't I, sweetheart? Because you're my one and only love. I'm so glad you're mine. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't. If you didn't exist, I'm not sure I would allow this universe to keep going. What would be the point? You're so wonderful. You're precious. You're irreplaceable. My truly one-of-a-kind darling. You're absolutely breathtaking. Good thing I don't need to breathe. I don't need anything, really. Other than you. I wish this moment could last forever. Just me laying here and admiring you. I really don't want morning to come. Is it okay if I stop time for a bit? For everyone but the two of us? I just want some more time with you as all. Well. I promise I won't drag it out for too long. Thank you, sweetheart. I love you.